Our next speaker is Dr. Johannes Neumann. He's a reg at uh, UKZN, and he is the founder and managing director and the driver and the chef and the marketing person for an African, the Africa uh, 2020 NGO. And he's going to speak to us about a novel approach to cataract surgery in rural Africa. Thanks uh, for, the, for the OSA uh, team and everyone that uh, actually invited us to come today. You have been invited actually three years ago to present at OSA. <laughs> at last it came to fruition. So, um, yes, a novel approach to cataract surgery in Africa. Um, we are living a dream of bringing hope and providing pro bono ca quality cataract surgery to patients in need uh, across rural Africa. Um, I state here that uh, we are living a dream. Well, it's been, a, it's been a dream for a while, but it's not a dream anymore. It's become reality. Um, I want you guys to come to, to, our, to our stand downstairs and have a look. We actually are in, in motion of actually realizing what we want to do. Uh, providing pro bono cataract surgery. This is where all of us are actually involved, and I'll tell you about it a bit later. Quality cataract surgery. Um, we tend to think, because uh, Africa is a third world country, we need to, we can only do third world medicine, but we can take the first world medicine to anywhere, any place in Africa, um, and especially uh, uh, across to rural Africa. Let me, uh, so the need is dire and the calling is clear. So these statistics, we're gonna go through that, but we all know these statistics. Uh, millions of uh, uh, African people has vision impairment related to uh, cataract, cataract problems. Cataract remains the, the leading cause of blindness in Africa. But it's still the most cost-effective surgery uh, sta as stated by the WHO. In South Africa alone, about 400,000 people are blind, of which 240,000 is blind due to cataracts. And that can be managed. Uh, our population growth, our population is getting older as, we, as, as, as time goes by. And as we know, older people get more cataracts. So our problem is just compounding. Um, the statistics, the latest ones, is by 2050, we could have about 115 million people blind due to cataracts. Um, Africa is still the continent with the lowest cataract surgical rate in the world. And it shouldn't be like that. So we should celebrate sight. That's why we have OSA. That's why we're together here, to celebrate sight. We all know that instant gratification that you get if you do cataract surgery. You, you do that 20 minute operation, you get this, oh, we can actually start, rewind. You can, you go to the clinic and you have this old lady walking in with a, with a grandchild and a child bringing her in, she can't see, and she, you struggle half an hour to get her on the seat, and then put the head there and then there, you know, all struggle, and then you see it's a cataract, you do a 20 minute operation, and the next time you see that lady, the joy, the, the appreciation, it's just, it's addictive. It, it, it's just amazing, you all have been through that. This is why we do cataract surgery. Yet, how many, how, too many people still cannot celebrate sight, still cannot have hope. Uh, so we've got too little resources and too little doctors and too many cataracts. We try to get that solution. That's why Africa 2020 needs the call to bring vision to all in Africa regardless of status. And uh, we provide accessible, a quality cataract surgery to patients in need. So where did it all begin? Um, I started as a, a pro bono MO in McCords, and that, that same year, 2017, we had a symposium uh, at Jacaranda, and I was uh, privileged to go there, and I met uh, a Prof Asia, uh, a guy from Israel, and at the end of the whole talk, or the whole day, he had this presentation about cataract surgery that he did in Nepal. And this is where I saw this tent for the first time, this mobile operating room for the first time. And in that instant, I knew this is what we need to do. This is what Africa needs. Um, I was just so inspired, so I contacted uh, then Dr. Jan Talma. I didn't have the details of the, of the prof, and he gave me the details, and it just grew and grew from there, and Africa 2020 was born. So um, the heart of our whole setup in our system is the operating room. And it basically allows us to have a sterile bubble 
uh, that is, uh, 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 that's got a HEPA filter that filtrates sterile air in the, in the room. Uh, it also helps with uh, uh, high easy patient flow and turnover. I'll just show you a video in a second. And then all I just need is the patient head. I don't need anything else. So let me show you. So yes, that's the system. As you can see, the whole room is set up like that. Uh, it can be set up anywhere, in a church, in a school room, it can be set up here, actually downstairs. Anyone has got a cataract? We can help you out. <laughs> so, so what you have is two beds, and then the one, you prepare the one patient on the bed, and then you just wheel him in next to the, to the surgery unit. You open that area where the patient's head goes through. Look at, there, yeah, you can see it. The surgeon's inside with the nurse. He's scrubbed and sterile. The whole area is sterile. And then he performs the surgery. And once he's done, he just pushes the head of the patient out, and the next patient comes in. Um, it's all sterile. The air quality in the tent has been tested, ISO 7, level 7 uh, certified. So it's, it's basically a surgical unit. Uh, we do FACOs. You can do ECIs. So basically, any surgery that you can do under local anesthetic, you can do in the tent. OK, so. We've got sponsors. Uh, we are a, a non-profit organization. So uh, we've been generously sponsored by, by uh, a, a number of companies. The first team that really got involved was uh, Envision Africa with, with James Wright. We went to him with a dream, nothing else, nothing to show. And a couple of weeks later, he delivered us a Catrix 3 to, to say, listen, you guys need to get going and do something about this. Um, Zeiss came to the party as well. Uh, uh, Deborah, she was just instrumental in helping us with a FACO, uh, with, a, with a microscope. It's a non-portable, portable microscope. You can, should come and have a look. It's huge, but we modified it and actually we're moving it around. Uh, air conditioning system was uh, uh, sponsored by PPHC Global. To, to all around all these equipment is quite it's sensitive equipment. It is very heavy. And uh, uh, Conqueror uh, also generously sponsored us a trailer to, to actually move everything around. Um, one, of our part, well, one of our members in the team, uh, I'll introduce you to him later, also did a, a doozy and raised some funds. So we were able to buy two sets of folk emulsification handpieces and IAs. So, and consumables as well, as well. Genop, Verti, Sanita, Oculate, all of them time to time just help us out with, with, with consumables. This is how an NGO works. You need to have support. And I'll ask you guys later. You need your support as well. So this is just a picture of how the setup looks like. Uh, the middle one there is just where, where everything is just put together. And this is what we have. This is all we need. And that's what we hold around. And that becomes a whole theater. So our operational f focus would be to, uh, to have specialized teams to go out to certain areas and then to do these uh, multiple surgeries on a, on a high volume basis. Uh, uh, just a setup of, of, of how that will work. Um, so we want to provide state of the art surgery <coughs> uh, in remote areas um, and to help people that cannot afford it because we all know people can't always come to us so we need to go to them and that's where we need to, to be mobilized. Um, again it's a pro bono service so we need help and support. Um, we were also looking for help from, from, from American, European doctors that wants to come and help us. But we need to help them. That's why we do FACOs. I don't think they know how to do ECIs anymore. We'll have to teach them. Anyways, uh, this is why this is such a nice system that they can also do you know, work on a, on a state of the art microscope and FACO machine in Africa. So the ecosystem of value of, of volunteers is very important. We need, we need support from surgeons. Uh, nurses, ophthalmic assistants, and operational staff. Um, but we want to, to package it as something that you can enjoy as well. Um, vacation for the purpose. Uh, that, that's a term that's actually out there these days. You just don't go on a normal holiday. You want to go on a holiday to have an experience and to mean something to someone. So once we're in Malawi, come and join us there. Do a five-day cataract surgery. Bring your family. Show them how we live, how it works in rural Africa. They can put in the drops or they can help you in your world. And then if you're done, go to Lake Malawi and do some tiger fishing or you know, mix it up. But I think you can still support us by, by doing something like that. Our focus will be then to actually stay three to six months in a certain area, uh, train the, the people in that area, train the staff, train the nursing staff, 
what does a cataract look like, how to manage a cataract, and, and then help them build up their communities, but and then at the same time do cataract surgery. Um, so I need 45 volunteers for one week per year, and that's it. There's 45 guys here, so I think I'm, I'm sorted. So partnerships, as I mentioned, is critical. Um, Conqueror, Envision, this is a project, Stone, they've been instrumental in, in this presentation as well. Wiggle Scrubs, uh, uh, Zeiss, uh, very instrumental. Um, so again, what we need for, for rollout, I mentioned that volunteers, funding, equipment support. Um, we need to raise a lot of money to be able to do this full time. Um, but it's possible. I think uh, every little bit helps and, and, and we ask for your support. So I quickly want to, to uh, introduce our team as well. Um, so it's myself and then my wife, Melindy, um, and um, Vicky and Carl, Carl there at the back, operations. So this is, which we're four people, that's it. But we've got a dream and it's, it's starting to, to evolve and do something. So we're really impressed, I'm happy about that. So basically, in a nutshell, Africa 2020 heeds the calling to bring 2020 vision to all in Africa, regardless of their status. We provide accessible, quality cataract surgery to patients in need across Africa. Our specialist medical team offer pro bono cataract removal procedures across Africa with multiple Africa 2020 nomadic ocular surgery mobile units. The last little part is the next part of the dream. We don't want to be one unit, we want to be more units. But wait, there's more. Keep your eye on the surprise. So <laughs> I know you all have the little QR code, so please uh, uh, scan that code. And we've been, again, supported by Zeiss and Wiggle Scrubs to give us some scrubs. So uh, 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 there will be uh, four sets handed out custom made. So you can come and we'll measure you, your name and everything. It looks very nice. Also. Uh, uh, called the doozy recently and we had special uh, custom made uh, um, uh, uh, shirts that we also uh, 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 giving out so please look at that and then if you can't win wheel scraps please buy one uh, you'll get 20% discount if you use our code but they will also sponsor towards Africa 2020 at the same time if you buy so uh, we really appreciate that thank you very much <laughs>